We're back with the multi-talented Mindy Kaling. She didn't even write that, but it happens to be true. That's She's right. multi-talented, and she writes and stars in the new movie, Late Night. She also plays uh, on the movie a writer on a struggling late night show who doesn't quite hit it off with the show's host, who's played by the incredible Emma Thompson, but you'd never know it when they gather for an event with reporters. How would you describe Molly? Molly. Molly. Molly is... She said I was the vibrant splash of color on the gray canvas of our writing staff. I was really touched. Mm -hmm. And then she said something to me that I will never forget. Mm -hmm. She said to me that despite our very different backgrounds, that I reminded her of a younger, younger her. me. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, mm -hmm. whoosh. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy, Magic. good morning. Thank you. Carson was just mentioning that this is your first screenplay, which is kind of hard to believe because you are such a prolific writer. Yeah, I mean, I've just been doing TV for so long, and I thought this would be a fun challenge. Now, you actually were an intern for Conan O'Brien back was. in the day. So yes. is this, like, kind yeah. of, did you build from there? No, he's nothing like the Catherine yes. character. I mean, she's a really tough character, and Conan was the, the ideal boss. But, you know, when you're researching these late-night talk shows, you you see how these big personalities on camera are very different sometimes than they are off yes. camera. Well, you hear that. There's a lot of rumors about that. Yeah. That's often true, though. And so I was, I thought that was really interesting because the experience of watching those shows is so fun and so joyful, and you think that the experience of making them would be the same, and so often is the case it's not. It's been widely reported that Emma Thompson was in mind when you were writing the script. You had her in mind. She was yeah. here on the show recently promoting it and said that your script, your debut script, was literally one of the best scriptures ever read. Emma Thompson said that. I know. Dame Emma Thompson. Dame Emma Thompson said that. I know. I was so honored to write. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Like it's such a it's such an incredible thing from herself. She is herself an Oscar winning screenwriter and Oscar winning actress. So to come from her was amazing. Um, so you know, it's funny. You name her. Her character is Catherine, mm -hmm. and then your little daughter's, daughter's name is Catherine. Catherine. Right. Are we supposed to connect the dots in any way? Because <laughs> actually, she's not a very nice character. I know. I'm just uh, really uncreative. There's like five <laughs> five names that I like. Like Savannah, Carson, <laughs> Catherine, Mindy. Mindy, and Willie. And Willie. Willie Geist, <laughs> no. our old friend. That's right. I was here two hours early to see where he was. <laughs> Couldn't find him. Yep, he wasn't he sleeping in today. No, yeah. he's not. He's over across the street. Yeah. So tell me about when you first started. Like, did you were you kind of like the character in this movie? I mean, she wants to go in there and kind of tell them what's the what and how they should do their jobs, right? Well, so my character. Yes, yeah, the well, character was. The, well, the character is a little bit based. I mean, I started at the office and I was only woman and the only minority writer there for the first year I was there. And um, it was really terrifying because for, the, for a while, when you're the only person there, you think you represent all minorities and all women. And I thought a lot of people face that in their workplace. And even though this character has like a lot of flaws and everything, I just wanted to write something that was A, really funny, and B, represented what I think a lot of people are going through, and they don't get to see themselves in this kind of story. Does written comedy translate the same when you write for television versus writing for a movie like Late Night? Well, what's, it's such a good question, because in this movie, I did do a lot of different kinds of writing. There's like writing dialogue, but then I also had to write um, monologue jokes and then stand-up jokes. Right. So it was really challenging. Yeah. And, then, and then making sure that everything was really true, you know, actually funny was, was hard. So I, I did a lot of research with a lot of different comedy writers, people who worked for your show, yeah. you know, and had great things to say about you. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Thank God. I was sweating that one. <laughs> 17 years of last call will do it for yeah, you. But no. late night shows like that, there's an institution of sort of the historical classic late night show, right? Johnny Carson, of course. David Letterman, Jay Leno. And then there's kind of a newer thing that's been happening there. So really? what world does late night take place in as far as Emma Thompson? This takes place in the traditional big three network, you know, that sort of thing. And I, that was, I've read every book about all those late night wars, and I'm sure you know so much about that since you're such a, entrenched in that whole world. But um, it's fascinating to me, and the late night talk shows still are the, something where even if I don't actively stay up and watch a talk show at night, I see clips about them, you know, whether it's Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Fallon, just, and so I feel like I'm, they're a huge part of our culture. You yeah. talked to Bill Carter from the New York Times? I actually read a lot of Bill Carter, and I wrote a he part. He wrote that big book on yeah, it. Yes, he wrote, he wrote that book. He's written two now. books on yeah. two different, um, so I didn't talk to him about it, but I I've researched all of his writing. Yeah, cool. I just realized I've never asked you. I don't even know if you've talked about this a lot, but how did you, because you were talking about being at the office mm -hmm. and being this young writer and looking different than anybody else. How did you get yourself a part on the show? Did you write it and say like, yeah, I think I could play this part? Or how did you make well, that leap in front of the camera? Well, my boss, Greg Daniels, had seen me 
and a play that I had written and also starred in. And he had in the back of his mind, I mean, the wonderful thing about The Office was that people could look like people you know. They didn't have to look like models. And he wanted the, the room to be really diverse and interesting and full of authentic looking people. So when he hired me as a writer, there was actually a little acting clause in it. And in the second episode, Diversity Day, when I have mm-hmm. to slap Steve Carell's character, he's like, I think that should be an offended minority woman. And there I was in the writer's room. <laughs> and he's like, great, it'll be you. Right place, right time. Right place, right time. And the rest is history. <laughs> Mindy, thank you the so movie much. movie looks great, Mindy. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Late Night Hits Theaters in New York and Los Angeles tomorrow and then Nationwide next Friday, June 14th.